Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here, along with T1 Stoneforge Mystic. She and I are going to do our July AMA, just a little bit late, sorry about that. If you'd like to get a question in for these AMAs, I'm doing them every month, but you have to be a patron, so go check out the link in the doobly-doo. And uh, right now, we have questions from, let's see, I have Chris Long, shouts to Christopher Long, he's one of the owners, one of the managers over at Tapstart Games, so shoutouts to you. Chris asks, Will Brawl see a resurgence now that Wizards is supporting it with a sealed product? And my inclination is to say yes. It, there's a pretty easy precedent for this. Commander was a fan format, and it got official products. More people knew about it. That increased demand. That increased the size of the player base. I imagine that Brawl works the same way, though it's not something that started out as a fan format. The more products you have for it, the more people are going to play it, generally speaking. I guess I might be just a tiny bit cautious. I don't think this will be the case, but Brawl, because of its unique history, Brawl kind of ruining it for a while, maybe people might be a little reluctant to jump in on that, but A, Brawl's, Brawl was banned. B, Brawl hasn't been, I mean, it's a standard commander-ish format, so that's not going to, that's not going to affect us going forward. Um, and then I will also say, it being on Arena, is, I'll say, a good thing, but the more formats that you have on a wild card system, the harder it is for free-to-play <laughs> players. It's harder for them to get into those multiple formats. You have to keep up with Standard, Historic, Brawl. You have a lot you have to do. Uh, and if you pay for your packs, that's fine, because you can just get a lot of them. But if you're free-to-play and you get one-plus packs a day, like, like me, that can be a bit of an issue, so... <laughs> Yes, she gets to be the extension of my hands. <laughs> that works, I guess. So I hope that answers your question, Chris. Thank you for that. Now, T1 Riss the Redeemed, also known as Rukul, and shout out to you, had a few questions. And while we don't have many patrons, you get a lot of questions, so count that as an advantage if you're an early adopter. All right, so you asked, which is your favorite JoJo part? And I have to say part three, Stardust Crusaders. Although... It's a little self-fulfilling, so it's the only one that I've seen the whole way through. It's what I was introduced to the series with. I saw meme after meme, clip after clip, until eventually I just decided, oh, what the heck, I'll go through it. I actually saw the OVA, or bits of the OVA, before I saw part three, so... I... It's a bit self-fulfilling, but I like the plot. I like Jotaro, I like Jose. I like the whole dang thing. Kakuen being a meme for no one can deflect the emerald splash and it works like one time, maybe, the entire series. Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, but, that being the case, uh, I mean, I, if I watch some of the other parts, maybe that would change. But I have it because, well, I'm about to answer that in just a moment anyway. So, on to the next one. Favorite character and favorite stand. So, Jonathan Joestar. Even though I said part three, Jonathan Joestar is maybe my favorite character, I'm a big Castlevania buff, and I have a sneaking suspicion, based on what I've heard and based on my own personal preference, I might like part one most if I end up watching it the whole way through. Uh, and then favorite stand? You know, I should have thought about this one before hitting the record button. Um, what was that face? <laughs> uh, hmm, Zawarudo, probably. The world. Uh, I know that maybe seems like a really easy answer. Everyone can give that. Well, okay, no, no, that's the power, right? No, no, that's also the stand. Star Platinum, the world. So, like, I guess it's both. But th being able to stop time is really, really strong. Like, I don't know. And it ends up being hugely consequential in two parts of the show, and it leads to the final fight in part three being as cool as it was. So I, I think I like that. On power, <coughs> on flavor, I think it's pretty good. Uh, and then, have you played any of the Toho games, or are you just a fan of the characters and memes? Both. So I have played, I'm going to try to get them in order. Now, I haven't played all of them. I've played, uh, I'm trying to focus while I, I'm being a conductor, apparently. Uh, Embodiment <laughs> of Scarlet Devil, um, so part six. <laughs> Perfect Cherry Blossom, part seven. Part 7. <laughs> Whatever. You know what I mean. Imperishable Night, which I think is actually my favorite. Yes, I know. Easy modo. Haha. Uh, Phantasmagoria Flower View. Uh, Mountain of Faith. 
uh, I think I skipped to subterranean animism. And I've seen, I've played Scarlet Weather Rhapsody. I've played a little bit of uh, the follow up with the H name that I'm going to mispronounce. His so into Soku, something like that. It, <laughs> the one that's basically the expansion pack of Scarlet Weather Rhapsody. It's another fighting game, and I'm a fighting game fan, but I don't play them enough to play them to take them super seriously. So casually, I like Alice because Alice is maybe my favorite character. <laughs> it's often <and> on. <laughs> Alice is up there. Cyrano is also fun to play, and if I feel like just being a big dome brawler, if I feel like being a grappler, then I'll play the, the, the perpetual drunk. <laughs> and, uh, and apparently we're doing the dance for you now. Oh, uh, by the way, wait, wait, wait. Hold on for just a moment. I need to scoot you to the side. So, here's my hair. Here's my hair. Get a good long look at it because this is actually the last video that I'm going to record with it before it ends up getting cut. So I have a, I'm going to be cutting my hair for locks of love, and somebody here does not appreciate that too much. Somebody here is, uh, is not a fan of that, but you're going to come with me and hold my hand, right? You're going to hold my hand? Yes. I got, I got. All right. So that's, that's it for this one, I think. So take care, Magic Community. And apparently for the purpose of this video, JoJo and Toho community as well, as the set gets completely ruined and she tackles me and jumps right in front of me on the camera. Ow! Ow! Don't pull! Okay, one thing I will not miss though is my hair getting pulled, to be sure. It'll grow back. I'm only losing about 10 inches of it is what I'm supposed to donate, so it puts it to about here, I think. So I'll still have a decent bit of hair, don't worry. T1 Glistener Elf, I'll, I'll still... I'll grow it out to the point where I can cosplay as Glistener and have the, the flowing hair as I'm jumping down. You know, like you did. As you did. It means that the Dak Faden cosplay is going to be on hold for a little while, but... Dak Faden himself is kind of on hold for a little while. Alright, that's it. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you later. Bye-bye! Jiggle! I told her before we started this that if she got if she got in the way of the camera, I was gonna tickle her. And unfortunately, I think I might have I might have actually incentivized her to do that. I'm cousin it now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>